he bought six acres for $270 million, little, little over six acres, uh, comes out to like 43 million an acre, something like that, <laughs> which uh, f- I, that's the most exp- that's the highest price sale on the strip that I'm aware of, like on a per acre. Per basis. acre, sure. Yeah, yeah. 43 million an acre. That's, yeah. that's a good number. This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now with local real estate expert Harvey Blankfeld. But Eli, I, you know, I noted that uh, you had some comments earlier when we were talking about it. Um, about the strip and and what's happening with with commercial property or casino properties on the strip, it's been a lot of transition. Oh that. yeah, yeah. yeah. There, I mean, there's just been an enormous amount of uh, enormous number of transactions over the last uh, few years. Yeah, really. Just as, just as one example, you know, the Bellagio MGM Resorts sold the Bellagio's real estate. They sold the property, the buildings, the land, all the all the real estate. They sold it to the Blackstone Group uh, in 2019. I want to say for a little over four billion dollars in cash. <sighs> Lease it right back. I think the initial annual rent, and again, all these rents have annual, you know, annual increases. But right. I think the initial annual rent was over two hundred million dollars. Oh my goodness! Per year, Vici then embarked on some huge buyouts. They bought the Venetian from Las Vegas Sands, who, as as you you know, I, yeah. sh- I should disclose, majority owners of Las Vegas Sands, also on the Review Journal. Right. But they bought the Venetian for I think it was part of a six billion dollar plus transaction. Vici bought the real estate for four billion dollars. And then what really expanded <clears throat> Vici's holdings on the strip, though, was they bought MGM Resorts real estate spinoff. Basically, wow. Vici's now the biggest landlord, biggest property owner in the strip. They own over 600 acres of real estate. Oh, my goodness. They own, you know, Treasure Island, MGM Grand, um, Mandalay Bay. Um, you just, you name yeah. it. I mean, virtually almost all of MGM Resorts hotels, not all of them, but almost all of them, the real estate is owned by this company called Vici Properties. Um, Tillman Fertitta is talking about doing something on the strip too. Now. Oh yeah, he, he just bought a bunch, uh, bought a bunch of land, right? Yeah. So uh, Tillman Fertitta, you know, billionaire owner of the Houston Rockets and re- you know dozens of restaurant brands and you know the Golden Nugget casinos here and, and in mm-hmm. other states. He purchased uh, it was approximately six acres of real estate. It was at the southeast corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Harmon Avenue, right across from City Center. He bought six acres for two hundred seventy million dollars, little little over six acres. Uh, comes out to like forty three million an acre, something like that, <laughs> which. Uh, I, that's the most exp- that's the highest price sale on the strip that I'm aware of, like on a per acre. Per basis. acre, sure. Yeah, yeah. Forty three million an acre. That's yeah. that's a good number. Um, at least yeah. one of the highest ever. Got to be I'm aware of. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, definitely. But it's a great location. Phenomenal it's, location. It's an unbelievably busy intersection. There Huge traffic by Enormous there. amounts of foot traffic. Enormous yeah. amounts of vehicular traffic. I mean, it's you know there are tons of resorts all within walking distance. You've got malls right nearby. I mean, it's just it's a it's really prime real estate. Yep. And he has already received approvals from the county to do a 43 story hotel casino on that site. I think it's like 2,400 rooms. So um, nice. So yeah, he's got a big project in the in the in the plans. You've been listening to Las Vegas Real Estate Now. If you ever have a question about real estate or any of the other topics we cover, just call me off air or text me at 702-203-1165. You can also check us out on the web at lvrealestateradio.com or on our handle on social media at lvrealestateradio. 